Hey, what's up guys? So this isn't really an unboxing since they gave it to me in this really weird, like, thing. Um, basically, it's made out of paper. Uh, the reason is, this is actually, I, I got this from uh, China or Hong Kong. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, usually they pack things this way. Um, they don't actually, um, yeah. The way they think they do things over there is uh, a little different. They don't really. I mean, this is really bad packing. <laughs> but um, I guess they weren't really worried about damaging it at all. Um, some reason I, I get the feel, I mean this is just basically tape, um, which is extremely hard to tear into. Um, it's like tape and some kind of weird paper, but I mean it got here in one piece. I mean you would think that uh, traveling all that way it would be a problem. I think it's bubble wrapped to be honest. Um, but. Yeah, I'm pretty cheapo on it. I'm just ripping into the... You're not missing anything. This is extremely difficult. If I did this on the table, you would uh, see a whole bunch of shaking and... Uh, it wouldn't be very visually pleasing. Uh, by the hell of it, I will be right back with this so I don't waste your time. All right, well that took absolutely forever. Glad I paused the video. All right, so basically what we have here is a even flimsier plastic. I mean, I'm almost positive I can break this like just doing this. Um, so that's not very good. Uh, this is even worse. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, this is basically plastic. I'm pretty sure I can make one. Yeah, that's troublesome. Actually, okay, so apparently it's got some flexibility. It's supposed to bend that way. That is some crazy plastic. I've never even heard of something like that. Alright, so let's place our Vita inside. Alright, simple enough. Goes right in. Next step is to attach the hinges. so and then close the lid this oddly enough leaves a lot more room for your hands it's actually less bulky uh, which makes it feel a lot lighter and a little bit more um, it's by no means more durable uh, because of the absolutely terrible um, it's very flimsy feeling, but I think that's what adds to the whole natural feel of it. Um, as you notice, it's not as blue, but it's more like a purple, as you can see the color here. It's a very... Um, it does feel a little less bulky, but it's not as... Um, it's not much of a difference where you feel that safe with it. Uh, there is a bonus, and it is a stand which you can see here, if you fold out the back, you have a stand for the, uh, for the Vita. It apparently likes to attract, um, you know, dust. It's not, it's not the most, it likes to attract dust. Um, styrofoam always likes to stick to stuff anyways, but that's what they, they put it with some styrofoam in it, so that's what you are seeing. Little white flakes. And then when you are done with the stand, you just take it and snap it in. Uh, overall, it um, feels almost identical to the other uh, case, um, but it gives you freedom down here to use the original um, hooks. Um, it feels like it could pop off any second. It doesn't exactly snap in
which is kind of disappointing for the feel and the actual durability of it all I mean I would say the other one is much better um, it's much this one's much lighter and thinner um, but it doesn't like totally impress like there's the thickness it's it's not exactly um, it's not that much of a difference um, when you're holding it in your hands you still feel you still know there's something on your Vita um, so overall um, this is an okay case as an added bonus to uh, the stand which is pretty cool um, over there is there's the locks so yeah the stands pretty neat but doesn't provide the most it's more like a purple it's a nice case. I, I like them both equally, but this one has more flaws. Um, I noticed that the buttons are more accessible. If you put your thumb inside, you can actually press them without a problem. Uh, the power button is also more exposed on this one. You can easily press the power button, whereas the other one, you have to actually really dig your nail in there to press it. So there's a couple of the problems right there. Um, other than that, everything feels pretty okay. It feels very similar. Um, I don't know exactly. This one's harder to find. I, I got this one off eBay. Um, don't exactly know where you'd find yours. But overall, it gives it more like a purple color than it does a blue. But it looks really nice. And um, it does feel flimsy. But it is, uh, it, it is a, a little bit more light. But when I tell you, I mean, when, you, when you're holding this in your hands, you barely notice the thickness uh, difference. There is definitely, uh, they're, they're almost exactly the same in, when, you, when you're holding them. You still get that odd feel that the bumpers are not as, um, your, 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 hand, your fingers feel further away from the buttons, which is strange because it's such a slight difference, but you do feel it. So, TPX reviews for um, Blaze Pro, uh, TPU, or P, I don't even know, they call it a different kind of plastic. Um, a little flimsy, eh, give this probably about an eight, eight even. Um, yeah, so, uh, yep, Blaze Pro, uh, Vita Shell. Yeah, don't know exactly the, the name, but um, yeah, nonetheless, that's what it is, so. Uh, T-Pix Bruce, peace out.